So I'm here uh, with the uh, ON Foundation and um, I gave a talk this morning um, at the, uh, the ORS meeting um, and uh, actually my um, basic training is in uh, bone engineering at University of Toronto. Uh, I've attended uh, the ORS meeting a couple of times in the, in the past um, and so it's really great. To, I feel like there's this gravity kind of bolt pulling me back kind of towards the musculoskeletal, you know, orthopedic area. Um, and uh, so it's great to be here, lots of familiar faces and, and new faces and, and um, yeah, just a, uh, uh, so I gave a, um, I gave a lecture uh, early in the morning, uh, kind of describing uh, various uh, uh, approaches that we take in my laboratory to, to essentially um, uh, harness rigorous science for the benefit of patients in the shortest period of time. Uh, and uh, so some of the projects in my lab and, and the, some of the strategy behind that. Today I spoke about uh, a few different stories um, of projects in the laboratory that um, are very translational um, uh, in nature. Uh, one of the projects is a uh, tissue adhesive uh, that we've developed um, that can seal holes uh, inside a beating heart um, and can be used to seal blood vessels in different places in the body and, and um, seal uh, uh, gut tissue as well. Um, and then the translational path that we're on to bring that to, uh, to patients. Um, I also spoke about a regenerative medicine approach uh, that started a number of years ago in my lab, uh, really thinking about how might we develop small molecules that can target the stem cells and progenitor cells in our body to enable druggable tissue regeneration. And uh, the first application that we're going after is, uh, is hearing loss. Um, so trying to res functionally restore hearing in, in people who have uh, had hearing deficits. And then uh, the last example that I spoke about is uh, a technology that we've been developing for a number of years, which is uh, an inflammation responsive material uh, that can release drugs in response to the level of inflammation. And if that level goes down to you know, very low in periods of remission, let's say, for um, inflammatory arthritis, then the level of drug release is, is minimal to, uh, to not there. And, uh, so I spoke about these three different um, projects in the laboratory, and then also some of the strategy of how we turn to nature for inspiration to bring in new ideas, as I feel like, um, you know, often when we're problem solving, we, we hit walls and we don't know what to do next, uh, but there's so much that we can learn if we just take a moment and try to find um, a creature in nature uh, that may have, uh, you know, encountered certain aspects of the problem that we're solving. And so I spoke about that. And then the other tool that we use all the time, I refer to as radical simplicity, which is really uh, about um, deconstructing problems, looking for unique insights, uh, and then also simplifying as much as possible along the way. And so really at the beginning of projects, we're thinking about manufacturing, we're thinking about regulatory, um, we're thinking about the full translational perspective in, um, you know, process as much as we can, and then making decisions uh, along the way that consider that, uh, that perspective.